what's going on everybody i hope everybody got enough rest last night and the people that are up today early in the morning i thank you now this is gonna be a short eh, i'm gonna say explanatory just a little bit a little bit of stuff stuff that i want to get off my chest if anybody really cares now as people that know me I'm a huge pro wrestling fan um, I don't want to hear that oh it's fake it's scripted they, you know um, okay yeah and you know uh, it's scripted but do your research it's all the bumps aren't like fake it's scripted but you got guys that are athletic are and are willing to take a hit real hits by that matter sometimes but anyway this conversation is about uh, well let me let me start off by saying that when, it, when people think about pro wrestling the federation that the company that everybody thinks about is wwe uh which you know it, it's it's the biggest one i mean the it, it bought a lot of territories and about a, a lot of other companies um and it became I wouldn't say the monopoly, but it's the number one company. It's the Walmart of uh, <laughs> of uh, wrestling uh, companies. So I don't know if the of my the older peeps, my homeboys, yeah, I remember the '90s and the late '90s, um, even I mean, shit, late '80s maybe. That we had uh, WWE was actually called WWF. That's what I remember. But I was a huge uh, WCW fan. That's that's where I started watching, you know, the shows and stuff. I knew about WWF. I mean, I mean, I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I knew about it, uh, but I was a big fan of Lex Luger. He was in WCW. Uh, Sting was in WCW, and then I, I remember when um, uh, other wrestlers went to WCW and whatnot. And you know, of course, in the late nineties, early two thousands, Monday Night Raw uh, came out, and they had the Monday. Uh, Monday Wars with uh, WCW and uh, WWF, and uh, of course uh, Vince McMahon, which is the owner of WWF, bought out WCW uh, and hired everybody that was working at WCW, which half of the crew was already pre-employed by WWF. They just went back, you know, to WWF and the WCW uh, wrestlers like Lex Luger and uh, I believe Sting started working for WWF. It just because, and they, they, Vince McMahon, the owner of WWF, he even brought Eric Bischoff. Was he was the, the one in charge of WCW, and, and you know that that's where they became like the main company. And there's other companies out there. I mean, there's um, I'm from Texas, so we have uh, All Pro uh, Texas Wrestling. Um, we have Reality Wrestling, which is uh, a, a couple of miles away from where I stay at. Which that's a uh, WWE's Hall of Famer Booker T's uh, company, and we got some pretty good, uh, decent wrestlers there. There's also some companies uh, from uh, uh, up north of Texas um, that come over here and uh, do their thing. There's one called All New Pro Wrestling. They're they're pretty cool cats. Uh, we also have the um, um, I think it's called Ring of Honor. That was pretty cool. I like Ring of Honor. Um, I wish. Our local uh, wrestling organization, the reality of wrestling, is as big as Ring as Ring of uh, Ring of Honor. But uh, I'll give it a few more years. Uh, Booker T's working on it. He has a we, he, we he has a pretty good fan base, and we got pretty good wrestlers. Um, the the indie circuit they, they travel the wrestlers travel around to different territories, and it's not to where they're, they're competing with one another. They're just trying to get their name out there. So it's it's really cool, you know. Um, one issue, well, this is what I want to talk about. It seems like I've been rambling. And I, I mean, I may have. I'm sorry. I've been drinking a lot of coffee tonight. Um, is this company called AEW. I'm not a fan of AEW at all. Um, the owner, Tony Khan, Khan, or Khan, Tony Khan, Tony Khan, whatever. I mean, I did my research. I mean, his daddy's uh, uh, filthy rich. So, I mean, I'm not a hate on him. It's not that I don't like him because, you know, he, he comes from family. 
a rich family. But I mean, this dude, he he's young cat. He's younger than me. I, think, I believe he's like, I don't know, like ten years younger than me, maybe. He, you know, he uh, he went half and half with his daddy at the, this uh, soccer, or you know, um, or uh, what they call football um, team, and and you know, then his daddy gave him some money, and he opened up AW with you know uh, Chris Jericho and whatnot. And I mean, it's so it's going good for him, I guess. I'm I don't know, but I'm, money wise, business wise, I'm talking about the fan side of the uh, spectrum. So it, it's it's been going on for about I don't know three years now, maybe four. It's just it, every week you you see another wrestler popping up in AEW. And I mean, it's it's not I mean, each of his own. You know, you can do whatever you want with, with, with your with your wrestling career once your contract is over. But it appears that every single wrestler from WWE that has left the company due to their contract, they they die down for about a year. You don't hear them, and then they they poof, they come up again, mm. and they come up in AEW, and. I don't know about the fan base in AEW, but every time I see commercials and, and YouTube videos and, and stuff like that, even, you know, I watch a, a, a match, wrestling match here and there, this, this people, the, the fans from AEW hate WWE. I don't understand why. I wouldn't go as far as uh, to say that I hate AEW. It's just, it, it's, maybe I did say I hated AEW. A few minutes ago, but I don't hate it. I just don't really, really like AEW at all. You know, it, and, and it's not because competition. Uh, because remember, I started watching wrestling back uh, back in the day, and I was a WCW fan. And the whole you know Monday Night Wars and competition, it, it's stupid to me. That's why I like the the, the low lower companies, the indie companies, um, the territories that we we call them over here, the indie circuits. Uh, they all work together. Like, hey, you know, we're not gonna try to beat you at 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 at, uh, at this. We're just, you know, trying to keep the fan base going wrestling. This is the, the issue I have with AEW is they're trying to put another company out of business, or that's how the way it seems. Instead of promoting, building a wrestler's career, and a lot of people. A lot of wrestlers from WWE say, hey, we left WWE because we don't have anything to say to, with our wrestling career when we're in WWE, okay? Did you not reach your contract? Did you not know about that? Because, I mean, before you signed your, your whatever two, four-year contract, because before you signed out with WWE, you were living out of your car eating can of beans every day. So now, you know, you get paid about five grand a month that's the least five grand a month and then after your contract ends you go and complain yeah you work 300 days out of the year you're out you're off 65 days um yeah i know birthdays holidays you know it's it sucks but hey that's you should have read your contract and all the wrestlers that have popped up from aw in aw are saying well wwf took over my ability to uh to write or uh, expand my my uh, wrestler character or character wrestler or whatever you want to call them. And I'm like, okay, well, look, I'm a huge wrestling fan. And, and if I were able, if I was to a, ever wrestle, I'll just be glad to be able to wrestle in some kind of indie circuit or, or territory, you know, but if, you know, I got a friend that's actually his dream and he's a really good wrestler. Okay, his name's Tricky Trey. Uh, his name's Trayvon. He's a really good uh, wrestler, a really cool cat. Uh, shout out to uh, Tricky Trey. If he ever makes it to WWE, he said he'll be set for life. And there's a couple of wrestlers out there that, are, that, that have stayed with WWE. But if I ever, like, let's say in, in, in my other lifetime, landed a, a job at WWE as a wrestler, I'd be like, hey, they're, they're paying me at least five grand a month. Dude, what, what do you want me to do? You want me to suck my own dick? I mean, you're you're getting out of the rut. You're giving me some money for uh, uh, for me being a wrestler, and I'm gonna prove my wrestling abilities. Hey, I don't even think you want me to be a baby face. You want me to be a heel? What you want me to say? You know what? Uh, what you want? How you want me to dress? How do you want me to walk? I can wrestle. I'll be your puppet. Just give me the the the, the money 
that I was promised. And a lot of wrestlers are complaining. Oh, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do that. Yeah, but you sure took the money, right? So they go to AEW and Tony Khan over there, he's, I mean, he's fucking rich. He's like a 28 year old kid. Just, he's just, I think he's trying to beat Vince McMahon and it ain't going to happen. I mean, I'm sorry. It's not, I mean, fan base, um, uh, annually revenue, you're not going to beat him. I mean, you may be more, your daddy may be more filthy rich than, than Vince. I highly doubt that. Mel may because it's Tony Khan's dad's from, uh, he has a lot of petroleum and, 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 and uh, overseas gas, um, businesses. But, okay, you might not be as rich as Vince McMahon out of your own pocket revenue, but your dad is. Okay, but why are you trying to start another, you know, competition? My word, my, my advice to Tony Khan is, hey, just open your, your, your wrestling company, teach, build up the, the new guys, the ones that are from the indie circuits, from the territories, build them up, get them to well known, because there's a lot of good, I'm sorry, there's a lot of great wrestlers out there from the independent, you know, uh, circuits, wrestling uh, companies that people would never know. Yeah, you want to hire, you know, uh, a famous, uh, washed up people from WWE? That's that's your thing. That's fine. What about the other ones? I don't, I don't think it's cool that you know there's a lot of cool wrestlers wrestling in AEW that are not famous yet, but they get pushed aside because you say, oh, watch out, uh, Danny Bryan came out. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Brian Danielson came out. Oh, CM Punk. CM Punk was never a good wrestler, so I don't know what's all hype. I'm sorry, he's not. Um, you know, Chris Jericho was an amazing resident when back in the day he was in Mexico. Uh, I think it was like the mid eighties or early nineties. Uh, his name was Lionheart El Corazón de Leon in Mexico. He was a great wrestler, but I mean, until you're 55 sting, bro, you're 62. Come on. Come on. If you didn't save money back in the day when you were making money, that's your fault. It, it's, it's, I mean, come on, do the way like, like Undertaker did, you know, just, just call it quits. We love Undertaker. I haven't met nobody that doesn't like Henry Calloway. But dude, he just called it. He just hang his his hat and my props to him. But um, yeah, I know I'm gonna receive a lot of a uh, uh, criticism for this. But yeah, Tony Khan, just uh, you know, don't get, don't hire wrestlers that say, "Oh, I hate wrestling." I hate wrestling because because what WWE did to me. But then you hired them, and, and as soon as you hire those people, oh oh, I gained the love for wrestling. You know why they gained the heart the, the the heart for wrestling because they do whatever they want. You don't have control of your your wrestlers of your employees. Yeah, and they may look they may look good in front of the the crowd and they're happy and stuff, but there's no character development. There's there's no um. Once they get to AEW, it's like, oh, okay, we're here now. We get to do whatever we want. I'm gonna do a cartwheel, and I'm gonna uh, slap that of uh, my opponent, and I'm gonna pin him. You will never see that in WWE. And I'm not saying that because I'm, I'm a huge old school wrestling fan. It's just that's what it is. I was a WCW fan. WCW went when when down the pipe hole, be for for poor management. I see that when I used to I watch the shows now, and you know what? WWF made it, changed the name to WWE, and boom, here they are. So, Tony Kong, you better chill out, boy, because it ain't going to end well for you. All you're going to do is be wasting all your daddy's money, and then, for what? WWE's still here. It's going to be here. Y'all have a good night.